Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. Got another unboxing for you from the fine folks at Waxwork Records. I got into myself a new record. Let's go ahead and open this up and see what it is. I'm sure you already know because you got the title. Wish me luck on this little sheet here. Hopefully it'll rip. Let's see. Here we go. I'm going to grab it pretty tightly here. I'm going to try it. Here we go. And I just dropped it. Unbelievable. All right. Take two. Here we go. It's gonna work. It's gonna work. <laughs> Again. Hey, we got it. We got it. All right, here we go. Let's see. Open it up here. Get it carefully. Oh. Oh, Alice, sweet Alice. Look at that. Beautiful. Original Motion Picture Soundtrack by Stephen Lawrence. Check it out. Ooh wee. That is an awesome cover. Let's open the sucker up. All right. Ooh, got one of those perforated sheets again. Ooh, they put it on there already. Nice. So like I said before on my uh, Lords of Salem, they gave me two extra sleeves on here but now on this one looks like they're putting it on the record already for us how cool is that the mofi mobile fidelity sound lab master sleeves archival archival quality non-scratching anti-static archival quality look at that very cool and it just opens up like this look at that we got the yellow raincoat blood splatter edition the non-subscriber edition but look at that Look at that beauty. Ooh. Oh, look at that. That is awesome. Isn't that cool? Got side A. Side B. Very cool. Now, if you guys seen the movie, you know, a little Young Brook Shields in it. And uh, 1976, I believe, this came out. Uh, we have it as some people clarify as religious slasher. Some people, I, it's I mean, it's in the horror genre. I mean, the soundtrack is very unique. It's very cool, very creepy, very atmospheric. Look at that. That is so cool. I like that. I'm digging this new sleeve. So much easier to get out, take it out. Got the track listing right here in the back. The iconic, iconic. You see those at Halloween stores all the time. Those little face, those little masks, those clear masks. Where it covers your face just enough to you can't tell who you are. It's super creepy. But look at that. That's really cool. And the iconic yellow wrench coat. Like you've seen the posters, I'm sure. Walking around in your video stores back in the day. You saw it, you're like, what is this movie? Alice Sweet Alice has that very cool vintage, that very cool movie poster. The, the, and, the, and the look of this killer is so iconic, you know. Surprise people that cosplay as much at a uh, horror convention, man. They should totally um, dress up as uh, this character. This is so rad. Yeah, so, all right. I usually don't do this, but I'm going to open it up for y'all. Let's see. They come with the booklet. No booklet, but it's got the little opening. It's got the little opening for you to put the actual album in there. It's, little, it's one gay fold. One album, one LP. Only one, which is cool. I'm digging it. Ooh, we do have a print. We do have some here. Check it out. Ooh. Okay. What do we got here? What do we got here? Retro Motion Picture Soundtrack, Stephen Lawrence. All tracks composed and performed by Stephen Lawrence. Rent Cheek Opera. Composed by Stephen Lawrence. Sung by Marilyn Sokol. All right. It says, to, to develop the main themes in Alice, Sweet Alice, I pictured a mist city haunted by a motif of murder. One of my favorites is the music for Miss, Mrs. Trendoni. I believe it captures her offbeat insanity. The descending eighth note pattern paints a picture of women who long ago lost touch with reality. Another favorite is the music for the sense in which Dom meets the final end. Scoring this film was definitely a work of love. Stephen Lawrence in 2020. So he just talked about it. Here he is like composing the music and everything, which is really neat that they added that on there. Showing love to the composers. You know, they're all getting like this like, um, their music is getting put out there in, on vinyl format. 
everyone to listen to and it's really cool clarity and music quality which is really cool so i'm digging that i'm digging they getting some some love after all these years i'm sure people already enjoy the music anyways and, and thoroughly enjoying it but just to get this re-release and and have a um and people to know because i've never heard of this a uh, composer before but it says Stephen Lawrence scored the Robert De Niro movie Bang the Drum Slowly. He also composed a million selling, million selling single You Take My Breath Away and more than 300 songs and scores for Sesame Street, resulting in three Emmy Awards for Outstanding Achievement in Music Direction and Composition. So yeah, this guy, he's, he's done a lot of work. So um, I'm going to play a little bit of the music for you guys. I'm gonna, let's check it out see how it sounds. But again, if you've guys seen the movie, then you already know. You, you guys already know. You guys already know. Here's a little bit of glimpse. I don't know if you guys can see it yeah i'll post a picture i like keeping this plastic you know me i'm crazy like that i'm weird i thanks scott thanks scott that's that's scott's doing so ever meet the composer if anyone ever get to meet brooke shields sign it right there and that blood red marker that he loves so much Another awesome release from waxwork records this now makes it waxworks number 94 right there so you can see boom so Check that out. I love how the blood the blood from the title is dripping down to her off the mask on the chin. Very cool touch. Very cool touch. Do yourself a favor, order it from Waxwork. You can still get it. It's like thirty dollars right now on their website. Um there was a subscriber variant. I believe my buddy Scott's got that one. So so if you're a Waxwork record fans, you gotta add it to your collection. Um Poser's done a lot of work in the eighties and nineties um doing Sesame Street, which is crazy to hear. Because when you listen to this music and this uh, soundtrack, it's very atmospheric and haunting. So it's kind of cool to the, the know his roots were in, or not his roots, but you know, originally he did a horror movie. And like I said, 1976, House Sweet Alice. I don't think people that much talk about it, but I figure like it, uh, it, like I said, it's on Prime right now, it's streaming. So it's like, the cover on Amazon Prime is terrible. They, they didn't go with the old school look, which is, I don't know why, which is so bizarre to me. Uh, because look at this. this, this cover's perfect. How would you change that? So, I mean... I don't know what they're thinking, but anyway, like people would just skip it if you were streaming and you're like going through like movies to watch and you saw that cover, you're like, oh, this is the movie looks terrible. Or it looks like a uh, remake or something, but not it's the original, it's the 76 one. So don't let that crappy cover uh, mislead you. Touch. Let's take this. Let's take this album for a spin, shall we? Let's do it. All right. Play this bad boy on here now. Now, even though it's brand new, you still gotta, you still wanna clean off the dust. You just gently go over the album record and then slightly, slowly take it out. Get the dust again. One quick one again, really quick. Just gently go over the record and then slightly, slowly go out. All right, there we go. Make sure your needle is clean. Turn the stereo on. 